afternoon, year five, or good morning, sorry, and welcome to our uh, SPAG lesson today. So as usual, I'd like you to open up your SPAG books and write today's uh, subject, which is obviously SPAG, and then today's LO, which is to use brackets to indicate parenthesis, as well as today's date, Tuesday, the 26th of January. And then um, once you've done that, I just want to remind you that you can rewind, replay, pause the video at any point. And whenever you see this little icon in the bottom right hand corner, that is when I would like you to be doing some writing into your book for me, please. OK, so we're going to begin with just a little recap of yesterday just to get our brains warming again. So uh, which of the following sentences use punctuation? So I just want you to pause the video, read through these sentences and just highlight which ones in your head um, use parenthesis. OK, let's have a look at our answers. So, of course, second one, the third one and the fourth one. OK, so the second one uses parentheses using the commas here. Next to the post office, that's your extra information. Including your favourite, that is the extra information added. It's your favourite game added in there with the dashes. And finally, this one here using commas again to describe the auntie. Adding that information that the auntie was born in Japan. That's your extra information. Um, here again, we'll have a go at this. So insert brackets into the sentence to demarcate parenthesis. Um, Are you doing your work? Apologies for that year five. Just had a quick question there. So um, yeah, so here I want you to insert the brackets into these sentences to demarcate parenthesis. So you're separating your main clause from your relative clause and you're adding in brackets to add in your parenthesis. So the suspicious box marked with a warming symbol was impossible to open. So which uh, where do you need to insert the brackets? Same as the second question, exactly the same as yesterday. So have a go at them and we'll run through the answers. Let's have a look now. You should have paused it and done that. Okay, so of course the brackets here around Mark with a warning symbol. That's your extra information describing about the suspicious box. And here we've added her heart beating like a drum. Extra information about Alina okay, in this um, kind of scary scenario. Okay. So you should all be fine with that. Now, what I want you to do here, so I've got the little icon in the bottom right-hand corner, so I want you to do some writing in your work now, please. So I want you to tick the parentheses that could fit where the arrow is pointing. So what I want you to do, I want you to rewrite this sentence here, and I want you to insert or add one of these three um, phrases that is in brackets here. So which one works best? Okay, so you're going to write the bones, found on the beach are probably 40,000 years old, or you're going to write the bones, which are 40,000 years old, are probably 40,000 years old, or you're going to do exactly the same, but with this one. So you need to choose which one of these fits best into this sentence to add extra information about the bones. Okay, so pause that, have a go, and we'll run through our answer. Okay, let's have a look then. So of course it is this top one found on the beach. It's explaining where the bones are found. That's your extra information about the bones, explaining where they were found. Okay, so it's not going to be the second one, which are 40,000 years old, because that's already said in the main clause. We don't need to add extra information, which we've already been told. And ancient, well, that means that it's it's old anyway. It's really, really old. So we've already been told that in our sentence anyway. So there's no point adding either of them. There are extra information is explaining where the bones are found. Okay. Finally, then. Again, I'd like you to do some writing in your book for me. So I want you to add parentheses to the sentence below using your brackets. So you're going to rewrite both of these sentences and you are going to add parentheses into them using brackets to add extra information. So if we have a look at the first one, first of all, you want to be thinking what do you want to add information about? Which part of this do you want to add extra information about? What can you add extra information about? OK, and then you got add that extra the brackets to find out some more uh, to add some more information about it. Same with this one. What are you going to add extra information about? Which word here are you going to add extra information about? That's what you've got to be thinking of. And then you can write anything in your brackets as long as it's describing extra information about what you're writing about, as long as it makes sense. Um, OK, so pause that, give that a go. OK, let's run through our answers quickly then. So uh, I've just given a couple of examples here. So for the first one. The environment at the top of Mount Everest, the world's largest mountain. There's my extra information. There's my parenthesis I've added in. Extra information about Mount Everest is harsh. Okay, that's what you're going to be including in um, in that sentence. And then this one, you might want to add parentheses after the end of the sentence, after describing uh, how they would survive the night. The temperature had already dropped below zero, so you're adding extra information about the night. Or you're going to add extra extra information about they. Who's they? So there was no guarantee that they. Hassan, Benjamin, and Maria would survive the night. Okay, so you're adding extra information on. So there's just some examples. 
please make sure you're writing this all down in your book for me for this one so I can have a look and mark it later. I would now like you to get on with the activity that's attached onto the website as well, please. And now enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all later for our live lesson. Thank you very much, Year 5.